Mark, congratulations. That's a sign of a good team today, that you can go in at half-time well nil down and come out and, and get a result. Yeah, I think we've uh, we've had to work hard for that today. I think really we, we, we weren't brilliant to start with, but um, we had a really good chance to take uh, to take the lead. You know, I think with the, I think Hadji hit at the post. I think before that, Callum has had a chance to score. It's come back off him. Hadji hit the post and thought it was in. Well, the keepers made a decent save. I couldn't quite see with the bodies that were there, but really, if we're ruthless there, we we, we take the lead and things. Uh, may alter a little bit, but what they do, they, they make it really difficult for you. It becomes a stodgy game. You know, they condense the space. They come after you with, with aggression, with aggressive movements, and we found it really difficult because we didn't get on and off the ball quickly enough. Quickly enough. That first half an hour, they sort of over there came in with a clear game plan, didn't they? And there was a sort of first half an hour, they were maybe a little bit in a sense until you'd got a, a chance to actually suss out where they were and what game play. And then in that last 15 minutes of the first half, you very much uh, took the possession off them. Uh, yeah, I think really it starts off because we want to play quickly. You know, if they stop the the avenues of uh, you know passing and they want to keep uh, to do that, they've got to condense everything and condense all the space and put bodies in positions where they can go after you. We've got to move the ball quickly, but then you've got to be you've got to be accurate with your passing. You've got to be good with your first touch. The pitch is difficult, by the way. So I'm hoping there's a bit of work gets done on that. Um, because we need to play, we need to move the ball. Was it a little bit uneven? Or it's, well, it's not great. It's not in a great nick, so it needs sorting out. I think that's the first thing. But you know, we've got a. It's not the first thing. The first thing is us. The second thing is we need a good surface to play on because we need to move the ball quickly. So we've got a um, a way of playing that's that's exciting. But you've got to be accurate. You've got to then be secure with it. You've got to move with it, and you're going to try and play forwards. We didn't do it quickly enough. We were looking, and we were we were a little bit laboured on it. And and that, I think the forward plays in the first half, in the first hour were probably a victim of that and uh, we couldn't get them on the ball which then meant that they had more impetus, they had more encouragement to come after it but when they do that, the space in behind, we didn't recognise it or execute that well enough and quickly enough until we we did at times get through that. When you get through the press then we, we, we look dangerous. I think you know we, we could have been out of the game by the way by then, we could have, we could have conceded a couple of goals but we, we carried on, we kept playing and we fashioned a couple of chances but as you said, the changes made a difference in the end because it just gave them a different threat. We're moving down um, into the last half an hour, but uh, they'd made some changes after that, you know. But it looked we looked a real different threat, and we managed to then start to find find spaces. We started to find goal scoring opportunities or chances to shoot, and then that obviously meant that had you got in a good position in the penalty area, and he planted his right foot, he got taken away from him, and the referee didn't hesitate and give a penalty. It looked a, it looked a stonewall penalty anyway. Um, I think there was a little bit of um, rock paper scissors, which is not ideal, but anyway, it, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily matter because the ball is the back of the net. But I think you know when you've got two players there that want to, to to score and want to take the penalty, they're confident in doing it. Fine, I'm not going to micromanage that. I think that they've. They've handled it really well. They were clear of thought, and um, you know, Hadji's taken penalties regularly in Turkey, so you know he can see what he's capable of, and, and that was a really good penalty in the end. We get one-one, and then we're on the front foot. We start to go after the game again, and um, Bobby Thomas plays a brilliant pass through their press straight into Callum, turns and, and runs with it, finds Hadji in some space, and he scores this, the, the, what turned out to be the winner. And we've had other chances at the back of that where Hadji maybe could have had our trick and. Uh, Torpy's had a chance to shoot and, and he's took a deflection, just took it over the crossbar. Um, but we looked a lot more of a threat. And then we defended well enough to uh, to see the game out. I think we, uh, like you said, at the, right at the start of that convoluted answer, I think that we, um, we, we handled it really well. And for a young team to find a way of winning after being a goal down against Millwall, which is a tough ask. They're anyway. fighting for their lives. Absolutely, yeah. And they've got some real good players, good experience in there. And to do that is a, is a real testament to them. Yeah, it was a good performance within the second half. I think uh, we showed our quality and we were able to prevail in the game. I think it was um, it was a difficult game. Millwall didn't make it easy for us, but um, again, we were able to show our quality in the later stages of the game and uh, take three points with us. For the first little half an hour, I mean, they had a, a clear chance and they'd set themselves up and they had some success in that first half. Now, was that very much about as you as a team and sort of almost trying to work out where the opportunities and the breaks were and there was that half hour of sort of sizing them out to a degree? Yeah, you could say that. I think uh, we knew we had quality and we, we, we should win the game. We wanted to win the game and then it was a bit difficult for us going behind so early. And uh, after they scored, they kind of just locked in defensively and going to stop our game. But good for us. They tired out and uh, we were able to take, take advantage of that. 
and the thing is as well from the sort of um, sort of last 15 minutes of the half you, you were very much in the ascendancy weren't you yeah exactly uh again they tried <coughs> out and we were able to show our quality we have a lot of players on our team who can drive the ball and create space for themselves and for others so uh, it was good for us I mean, they came into it. I mean, they are fighting for their lives. They're in a relegation battle, aren't they? I mean, they've, I think they've lost four of the last five, drawn one game. But they certainly didn't start the game with a team that looked like that. But I guess that's the thing in this division, isn't it? Everyone can beat anyone on their day. Yeah, it was difficult. They made it really hard for us. Um, Big physical side. Exactly, yeah. They came out and they're they physically present. And uh, in the earlier stages for the, of the game, it was hard for us to cope with it. And uh, they got the goal. And um, yeah, again, it was difficult for us, but uh, we showed our quality. Mm. And when you went in at half time, obviously we were 1-0 down, what did the gaffer say to you? He said uh, there were a lot of good stuff, but there was also a few uh, bad points that we need to work on to improve in our game, to come away with the win. And uh, yeah, kind of just told us to keep going, stay calm on the ball and uh, attack the spaces when they were open. Because when they were obviously getting their crosses in for the first half, they were having some success with that. Yeah, they had a, a big <coughs> team and uh, they, they took advantage of that. They tried to go long on throw-ins and on corners and uh, long balls and they were, they were they're pretty good at it. They have uh, some players who were very good in the air and it kind of made it difficult for us, but uh, we kind of grew our way into the game and we were able to, to stop that and, uh, and show our, uh, our presence on the pitch and uh, come away with the win. And talk us through the penalty? Uh, yeah, I uh, won the penalty and then uh, me and Cal had a quick discussion about who was going to take it. Now talk to us about that. How, what happened here about how you decided who was going to take the penalty? Did you have a game of rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, we did. Um, I, I know Cal's amazing at taking penalties. He has his little stutter step and he's probably going to score 90% of the time, but I'm, I'm confident in myself as well, so uh, I wanted to, to, to take it and uh, luckily I won the game of rock, paper, scissors. What did you go for though? Rock. You went for rock yeah. and you went for scissors? Yeah, I kind of had a little, uh, <laughs> late, a little delay in my uh, throw, but uh, you know. I, mean, I guess the thing for you, you, you're obviously confident coming out of the game against Sheffield Wednesday, you've got on the score sheet there, I think it's 11 goals for you now this season, so you know, from the fans' perspective, seeing you both want to take the penalties and having the confidence to step up and put it away, you're obviously feeling really comfortable and really confident in your game at the moment. Yeah, we're both hungry players, we want to succeed, we want to, uh, to show our, our quality on the pitch, and um, yeah, it was good to, to score and to help the team get the win.